switch gears a little bit. You have another recent book titled Death by Calcium. It seems calcium is pushed an awful lot, especially to women, to help prevent osteoporosis down, down the road. Is that sending the wrong message? Absolutely. Calcium is one of the three what I call toxic nutrients. You have calcium, you have iron, and you have copper. You should never supplement calcium at all. You should never supplement copper at all. And you should only supplement iron when you have a documented iron deficiency anemia. Other than that, you have plenty of all of those in your body to allow it to help the different coenzymes function and do their, do their job. I mean, iron and calcium and copper do play a role in a large amount of enzymatic reactions, but you only need infin infinitesimal amounts of those for that type of uh, function. On the other hand, the research that I did on death by calcium showed me very clearly that one of the body's natural mechanisms for killing a cell is increasing the intracellular calcium concentrations. It precipitates a whole array of increased oxidative stress until the cell finally auto-destructs by apoptosis or goes to complete necrosis. And I think most people realize, you know, life is a lot more than growth. You have to have a lot of stuff selectively dying at the right time while other things are selectively living to make the unique you in the form that you look and everything else. So <laughs> death is a natural part of life, physiologically speaking. Well, as it turns out, roughly 99% of your calcium is in the bone. And there's only 1% in the rest of the body that needs to be inside the cells, needs to be outside the cells, circulating in the blood, very, very, very little. And anybody who has osteoporosis, it's almost, if you will, like a burning of the bones. There's the increased oxidative stress inside the bone, and it's literally destroying the bone from the inside out. And if you will, for the sake of an analogy, the calcium is like the smoke coming out of the bone, okay? But it's not the substance of the bone. And so in a very simplistic and at some level logical point of view, we got the idea that yes, bones have a lot of calcium, so all we need to do is take a lot of calcium to make good bone. And nothing could be further from the truth. Okay, you, you actually need a lot of vitamin C because I show the evidence that shows that osteoporosis is really a focal bone scurvy. Okay, you need a lot of vitamin C to not only pull in the calcium, but also to build the strong collagen matrix and the interconnections of the collagen to make the bone strong and the different minerals that are involved. You need all of that to build back good bone. Part of the other problem, though, comes from the fact that <clears throat> docs do these bone density scans, mm -hmm. okay? And clearly, if you've not been taking anything and your bone density is low, that means osteopenia or of severe osteoporosis. On the other hand, if you take a large amount of calcium, guess what? You do get a slight increase in the bone density scan, but it's not an increased quality of bone. The bone gets brighter on the scan, but it fractures just as easily. I liken it to putting a fresh coat of paint on a rotting fence. It looks pretty, but if you lean against it, it's gonna break. So you need to look at things physiologically and then the really compelling evidence of the book that showed not only are we not helping things by taking calcium, we're also ultimately ending up with a lot of excess calcium inside the cells. And as I just pointed out, this is at the basic core of all diseases. When you look at for example, the coronary artery calcium score. This is where you look at how much calcium has deposited in the coronary arteries. And they initially did this because, and they were correct, the more calcium you saw accumulating in the coronary artery, the greater your chance of was heart attack. Okay, that was your greater chance. 
And the higher the number, the worse the chance. And so you needed to do things that started mobilizing that calcium. Well, some bright folks also took this coronary artery calcium score and found that as the level was higher, you not only had a chance of increased heart attack, you had an increased chance of death from all causes. So this was merely a marker for the fact that you're accumulating too much calcium everywhere in your body and inside all of your cells and making you more prone toward worsening whatever your disease process is. And there's a bunch of other data that support this, the things that do treat uh, osteoporosis and your calcium balance as well, magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K. Those are your biggies. Interestingly enough, vitamin C, uh, vitamin K, uh, and uh, magnesium, when you take them as single supplements and do a study, each one of those things separately decreases all-cause mortality. So that also means the effect that they're having on calcium, they're having on all the different cells of the body. Similarly, hormone management is important too because low testosterone, low estrogen, these all increase all-cause mortality. And vitamin D decreases all-cause mortality when you get it in the right range. It's important that vitamin D, unlike the other ones, be taken with blood levels and adjusted with blood levels. You need to get the level to like 50 to 80 nanogram per cc. And it's important to do that and not just say that's too much trouble because too much vitamin D will kill you, too little vitamin D will kill you or increase your chance of death. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of bad news out there for people who are just wedded to the idea of taking calcium and they just can't conceive of not taking calcium and are heavy on milk products. You, mm -hmm. the, the big study in 2013 looking at some 60,000 women followed over a 19-year period, found that those that supplemented calcium and took in a lot of milk and dairy had two and a half times the death rate of those that took in the least. So it's very clear, very straightforward, and very inescapable.